the community probably shouldn't have a vote on absolutely everything unless in very specific um, players or requirements that some of which do really well in web three. Let's venture into the Halbon rapid fire. This will, these will be five short, very quick questions and we'll go through them um, one by one. So first one is uh, describe fractal in three words. Ah, in three words, I would describe fractal as a composable app and framework. Okay, that's very succinct and describes uh, fractal that well. What's the one blockchain project that you wish you had created? I can't speak to an individual project, but I wish I'm a massive gamer and I wish I was more knowledgeable about the development of gaming process so I could build a Web3 game that I see fitting all the requirements and the opportunities that um, crypto has available to it. But out of all the industries I've tried to build in the past, that's the one that I think you need the most past experience in Web2 gaming to be able to deliver on effectively. And I unfortunately do not have that skill set. That's interesting. Web3 gaming is such a fascinating world and the variety in that also keeps continuing to grow. Right, so question number three, what's the best piece of Web3 advice you have ever received? I really like the advice and the theory of with Web3 in crypto is you should automate whatever you can automate when you're building and let everything else that can't be automated have, have decisions by a larger group or a DAO. Um, I think that's great because it touches upon my what I've learned in my experience at open source in, in, in Web2 as well, which is you shouldn't, the community probably shouldn't have a vote on absolutely everything unless in very specific um, players or requirements, that some of which do really well in Web3. But for most organizations, some sort of automation um, is the best way to do it. And then only bringing in the DAO at the right time um, to change certain parameters is probably the best way to set up. Um, what I love about Fractal actually is that every user can make their own decisions of how much they automate, how much they let their DAO have uh, the ability to execute as a thousand person group or just two people. All of that can be done with these sub DAO hierarchical structures. Awesome. Looks like you have um, implemented a lot of that with Fractal as well. That's cool to see. Uh, question number four, what's your favorite tool or platform that you use and that simplifies your life on an everyday basis? Okay, so in general, I would definitely say that it's it's just been Discord. I know that sounds crazy to me, but I, I'm a big Discorder. And as Fractal has to engage in so many DAO communities and build relationships and grow, um, and really tell our story about sub DAO hierarchical structures and why they're so important for efficient DAOs and also robust DAOs. It's just great for me to get involved in communities hands on and just start talking and it's completely open. You know, I don't have to a lot of the time access some sort of good token gating, but at the same time, I don't spam. You know, it's like you instead you engage honestly and transparently. And I love that about Discord. There's a lot of mess in there as well. Spam as well. <laughs> Who don't follow that protocol but i'm a believer in just leave it open and just let it be what will be will be and you know all that will get pushed to the side and people will ignore it um i can't answer that question without commenting on the fact that i have also baked in a lot of open ai's chat gbt into my work processes in the last sort of um few weeks um but saying that i think it's too early to say whether they'll stick it's more i'm experimenting right now yeah chat gpt is everywhere as well Finally, is there something in your life that you wish that you had learned sooner and you found out way later? Um, in my life, both professionally and personally, I, I believe strongly in picking your opportunities carefully and riding the waves of life, if that makes sense. And in business, what that means is don't try and fight a wave, if that makes sense. Like if there's like, pick your battles well because you can't force things or force people to back you know companies that you're building for example you need to pick the right ones and the right opportunities based on not only what's happening in the world around you but with whether you actually have a core expertise in that field mm -hmm. when it comes to fractal it's not only that i think small and large groups forming around assets is critical for the future of our social and political stability i absolutely do and i can talk to you more about that <laughs> in a longer call um, but I also believe that me and Mike 
and decent DAO are the right people to help solve that problem by making it composable and being able to split these small groups into larger groups or smaller groups based on sub DAO hierarchies. Um, if we weren't those right people to do it, that and making that decision to pick this as the right thing to build is is more important than how hard we work. Mm -hmm.